All right, the guys that did the concrete here, they ran some corrugated pipe under the walkway. We're not gonna cut the concrete. Everything's brand new, including the black pipe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run these off of what the cement guys have done. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. We're not gonna do the clean outs up here. Again, the way this has been done, I wanna work with it. I wanna keep this job nice and clean and neat and show you guys what we're gonna do. Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. We're gonna show you how to put roof runoff system underground buried downspouts in and vent them at the inline catch basin. The way this is done, brand new house, brand new cement, corrugated pipe ran through the cement, some brand new cements poured up against the corrugated pipe. This is a perfect, perfect example of how you vent at the catch basin. So we're going to put in a catch basin that'll catch shingle gravel. It's really nice. It's in line. The shingle gravel just drops right in it. You just clean it out. Well, every few years, you just take your shop vac, clean out the shingle gravel, no big deal. So we're going to run it to a pop-up emitter that's going to be installed in a way that it's going to act as a mini dry well. And I will explain. All right, we're going to put our pop-up in, our pop-up. You have a nice sweeping 90, and then we have a sump in the bottom. We're going to go ahead and dig this out. We're going to lay some fabric in there. We're going to put some pea stone in there. And then we're going to set our pop-up on that. We want to run the water as far away from the house as possible because we don't want the water to compromise the cement driveway and the cement walkway. Remember, it's a brand new house. The cement's brand new. We want to do this right the first time. We're going to run it all the way to the curb. We want the water to go right into the street gutter and end up down in the street storm drain. That way, the water's not lost in the front yard. If you discharge a pop-up emitter mid-yard, the water just gets lost in the turf grass and you just saturate the front yard. It's definitely a whole lot easier simpler and a much better drain if you just run an extra 10 15 feet and get it to the curb the guys are using the new high octane armor pipe you can just see how thick the sidewall is look at how they got to handle the pipe it just don't unroll like normal pipe it's very very thick the sidewall you can walk on it you can drive on it this is the heaviest sidewall on the market this is a custom run and this pipe was in the works for two years and we finally got it done. It's here, the high octane armor pipe. All right, so we're gonna use these vented inline basins. This is gonna be great because we can access the drain. We can catch all the shingle gravel here. We can run a camera through it. We can run a jetter through it, a snake. It doesn't matter. And we're gonna put the pop-up on the end here and it's gonna be done like a mini drywall. We got the fabric in and we're gonna go ahead and put the pop-up on and we're gonna put stone underneath the pop-up. We're going to do the same with the inline basins. The inline basins have holes drilled in the bottom of them. We want to make sure they don't hold any water. If they hold water, they become a mosquito hatchery. During the hot weather, they give off an odor. And then in the north, they'll freeze in the winter. So we want to make sure that after a rain event and after all the bulk water has been moved, we then have it set up to where it leaches into the soil. Always connect with a Y. I can't tell you how many videos I see on YouTube where they use T's. Never use a T. The water just slams to a stop with a T. You want to keep water moving. You want to keep the velocity up. Use a Y every chance you can. I admit once in a while it calls for a T fitting. That's why they exist. And we use them all the time on a French drain grid, but this is not a French drain. This is a roof runoff system. And I want the water to flow freely. So I encourage you to use a Y in your yard drain systems for discharge lines, for yard drains, and for roof runoff systems. So you can see our inline catch basin, super easy, super quick, snaps right on. It's vented. Again, I just love this. I mean, it gives you access. It's an inlet. It's an outlet. It's, it's a good vent. You know, it's a good clean out access. Really can't say enough good about it. It does it all to do all, and it's super user friendly. Really strong, really durable. The tops cannot be broken by today's big lawnmowers. So the guys just take fabric and they put the fabric underneath the catch basins and the pop up emitters, and they just go ahead and put pea stone between them 
between the basin, between the pop-up emitter and the fabric, there's a bed of pea gravel. This is going to keep the system working, leaching. When bulk water is done and there's no more rain and it stops, the little bit of water that's left in the pop-up emitter or the catch basin will then just slowly leach in the soil. Even if it's clay, a small amount of water will leach. This is a really small catch basin. It doesn't hold a lot of water. We're getting away from those big basins that hold a lot of water. They just get you into trouble. This is the extra heavy duty, high octane armor pipe. We're able to do things we've never been able to do before. All right, guys, so after you pack all the dirt on the pipe and you make sure there's no air pockets, you take the heel of your boot, it doesn't matter, the pipe's so heavy duty, it doesn't matter. Make sure you blow all the dirt that's left in the grass out of the grass right now because this is when it's the easiest. You're just gonna blow it right on top of the drain system where there's dirt and you're just gonna put the sod back on top of that. So work smarter, not harder, guys. I can't emphasize that enough. And make sure when you cut your sod out that you cut it out and cut it in manageable pieces. It's gonna make your job so much easier. The job's gonna be so much more efficient. Don't struggle. Don't make work for yourself. This will go together like a puzzle. And a little note, you're gonna have extra sod. I know, it's like, where did it come from? When you cut sod, it stretches. And you're just gonna end up with some extra pieces. Don't worry about it, just expect it. Doesn't mean nothing. Everything went just fine. Put it back together, trim the sod, and just dispose of the few pieces that are left. What's nice about this catch basin and the pop-up we're using, it's got a turf restrictor plate, so the grass can't grow over the pop-up and it can't grow over this vent, this access point. And it has a beautiful finish. It's dark green. It's got a really nice herringbone pattern. So does the pop-up. Same finish, same part, actually. The lid snaps in or the drain, four-inch drain grate snaps in. This sump is really nice. This is a catch basin sump combination. You know, this is a hybrid pop-up. And you can just reach down in there and grab the leaves and sticks, you know, a couple times a year. Super easy. You can't do that with any other pop-up. Why is it like this? Well, because this was made by contractors, the ones that know what the industry is lacking. And we're the ones that do the maintenance and to put the stuff together. We know what has to be done to improve these products. So this is the new and improved pop-up emitter made by the guys at French Drain Man. As you guys know, we're a Michigan company and we're in like automotive alley when it comes to having places to make something like this. I mean, we make a ton of car parts here, so it was super easy to get lined up with a real reparable mold maker and plastic injection shop. All right, so here's our inline basin. Couldn't be easier. Don't need any tools. It just snaps right on. It just doesn't get any better than this. And again, that's because it's made by the very tradesmen that are putting it together. This is not a French drain, so that's why there's not all this stone and fabric the whole length of the pipe. We're using solid pipe. This is a roof runoff system. We're running the water to the street, and we're just building a little dry well so that we can get rid of whatever standing water is left in that basin and in that pop-up emitter after the rain event. This is not a French drain, so we're not trying to use inch and a half round rock. We're using round rock, but it's really small. It's pea stone. It's just for leaching. We want to have a nice bed of stone, a smaller stone that's really nice to work with, and you could set the pop-up and the inline catch basin on. And the guys are doing a great job. Burrito wrapping that pea stone so that we don't have dirt migrating into the voids of the pea stone so that this leaching will be effective and working properly for many, many, many years to come. All right, so you can just see how that Y-fitting, you merge these two downspouts together. I encourage it. It keeps the line cleaner. If you run two or three or four downspouts on a main line, it's going to be clean. The more water you're moving through that line, the cleaner any pipe will be. You can see the guys did a beautiful job here. Really nice. You know, that part looks great. Doesn't take away from the property at all. It's a really, really nice looking product. Stands up to today's big heavy lawnmowers. Look at these guys walking on this pipe. They know what they're dealing with. If anybody knows what they're dealing with, it's these guys. I mean, you will see them just stomping the dirt and packing it around this pipe because the pipe has such a heavy sidewall.
Look at this. Really nice. Showing you guys this before we put the sod in. So you want this, you know, flush with the turf grass. Don't worry. The grass won't grow over your vent. The grass won't grow over your pop-up. The part is made so that the grass can grow up on it, and it won't block your vent or your pop-up door. It's a really good-looking part. It's got a nice herringbone pattern. See how the guys just packed the dirt in? You're going to end up with air pockets, so you want to pack it in real good. When you have a really heavy pipe, like the high-octane armor pipe, I mean, you can just go ahead and walk on it. Go ahead and stomp the dirt in and around the pipe. Landscapers, when you're running brick pavers and, and retaining walls and you need a heavy walled pipe, this is it. You can run a tamper over this. I know exactly what you guys are dealing with. You got to worry about pipe deflection. And if you use PVC in the north, well, that's just going to crack. If it's in a frost, it's just going to, every year, it's just going to deteriorate more and more until it's just completely rendered useless. So you want a real flexible pipe that can take the freeze and thaw. So now the guys are packing the native soil underneath the pop-up on top of that burrito wrap. Doing a really clean job here. Again, you know, really packing the dirt in around this pipe. That This way, you're not going to end up with what's known as saddling. I know it sounds a lot like settling, but saddling, like a horse saddle, just a term that's used. But to avoid that and having to go back and deal with that, make sure you pack the dirt in and you get rid of all the air pockets. I can't say enough good about this crew. This is the same day. I mean, they knocked this job out. It's a half day, you know, just knocked it out. We're on to the next job, and look how good this place looks when we're done. It's truly, truly amazing. So these inlet, outlet, venting, inline catch basins, along with our mini dry well pop-up catch basin hybrid. Just reach right in there, grab the leaves and the sticks out. It couldn't be easier. Here is one from last year. This was during... The product development, we were putting a standard pop-up emitter in a turf restrictor plate. And look at how the grass grew up on the plate. But it didn't grow over top of the pop-up, so it can still work. Now, this pop-up is a spring-loaded pop-up with bars going across it. You can't stick your hand in it, so that's a problem. We improved on that when we built our pop-up. All right, everybody. Until the next video, and if you can think of a product that you think the industry needs, I want to hear it in the comments section. And give us a thumbs up to support the channel.